All right, I just wanted to show you inside a Toyota clock spring. I just replaced mine. Uh, unfortunately, the part I replaced it with is also bad, but um, <clears throat> we have opened this guy up and you can see these kind of cool roly polies. And uh, here is what is on the very inside there are two of these ribbon cables so those two ribbon cables are like I don't know what type of connection this is called um, some type of heated fusing uh, onto there you can see that kind of dimpled area on there and I was just curious uh, whether it is the connection that goes bad or the ribbon cable itself I just sanded off a little bit of the coating to get down to the metal so that we can test these for continuity and you can see as we work from the outside in I was kind of like thinking maybe we we're gonna not find any bad connections here and just kinda kept going moving towards the center and um, you, you notice that as we get towards the middle these um, get smaller and smaller, which is kind of interesting. Uh, you got the bigger cables on the outside. Let's see, oh, I was on the wrong one there. So we got three, two here, and then, uh, yeah, so we got continuity on this one. And then this last one was the one by, uh, no matter what I did, I could not get any continuity right here so I actually was wondering if it was you know maybe an issue with um, where I kind of pulled this off the connection I think one of these does a little bit of a 90 degree turn where it goes into the plug so I thought well okay let's try over here <clears throat> so I sanded a section off here oops and still nothing there and so then I thought okay well let's start looking at the cable and almost immediately spotted this right here. Let's see if we can get that to focus. So I circled it a little bit with the Sharpie there, but you can see the exposed copper, <clears throat> and there's a little bit of a spot on both sides here, <clears throat> the large one and the small one. But I think this small one has cracked in there, and so that is... Uh, I believe what's causing this short and so you may notice uh, with the clocks with clock spring errors uh, what often happens is you know if you turn your steering wheel 90 degrees to the right 90 degrees to the left the buttons will work but uh, not often if it's straight ahead or <clears throat> on my current vehicle on my Prius um, every time I like make a right turn it wants to change the stereo mode to radio, which is pretty annoying. Um, so uh, this is where they fail. Uh, you know, not really. I would say not really repairable. You'd have to replace this ribbon cable, which once again is kind of fused into here, and. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't even able to figure out how to get this connector apart. It does come apart somehow, um, but I just kind of sacrificed this guy because I figured I wanted to understand this a little better. Um, so that's the deal with uh, ribbon cables. You just got to replace it, I think. Um, the clock spring just needs to be replaced. Here is cable number two, and you can see there's just like a very blatant break right there in the copper. And this is almost dead center of the cable. Um, so I think that is like the maximum stress point in the cable. And <clears throat> it looks like there's some abrasion that happens in there. These are coated in some sort of thin lubricant, I believe. Um, 
but I think just with time that probably wears off and it eventually does give into abrasion. Uh, so <clears throat> yeah, that's how those fail.